one look, the heat is rising, and I've been cold for so long. Hey everyone, welcome back. Alright, alright, alright. Many of you left comments and DMs to me on my last video on what more I could do with Surgeon Blades on other frames. I didn't really want to touch on survival setups for Surgeon Blades because it was a bit obvious on what it could do, even just on Urelli. But since enough of you asked, I'll show you three pretty scary setups today that would make the absolute most out of this helmet. Now, Wisp is not included because it should be extremely obvious what happens when you put anything with Reach Surge? The ones we are looking at today are Rhino, Limbo, and Mag. Rhino just to give an actual comparison on how strong an unnerfed Roar setup is compared to Urelli. Limbo because, well, Limbo. And Mag because that should represent the peak of this augment's power in survival, so let's dive right in. This is the Rhino build. It's kind of similar to the Urelia I showcased two days ago. However, there are two key differences. Now, this is a max quality of life setup because I wasn't sure what else to put for the Exilus. We have preparation here. Rhino doesn't have a very big energy bar and it takes some waiting to set up with 45 efficiency to start, so I opted for this mod since Iron Skin already gives us Prime Sure Footed. Rolling Guard lets you clear debuffs and protect yourself when Iron Skin falls off, letting you recast it during your iframes. Brief Respite also means casting Iron Skin or any ability on this build for that matter will fully refill all your shields instantly for shield gain so long as you have a Decay Dragon key. While I could slot Augur's Secrets here and bring a Sentinel with two Augur mods on a Burst laser weapon to guarantee all shield is regen so that I can slot Growing Power and net us a total 49% more power strength, I really don't feel this loadout needs more damage. And Natural Talent feels much comfier to slot. Also, because your damage in this setup is tied to ability casts, in theory, Natural Talent is a strict sustained DPS and KPS increase, with a 50% straight up DPS increase through cast speed actually, which is much more than what 49% more strength can offer. Energize is self-explanatory on a 45 efficiency build and velocity so we can shoot Epitaph faster. This is a generic epitaph build that's the same as the one from my previous video except I swapped out the radiation for more status duration and fire rate. I'm still using Prime Fall Nation in this setup because I'm more interested in spreading viral than maxing viral stacks. You won't have any actual issues killing so just having viral at all is more than good enough. Dexterity is handy for the holster speed but I'm not even bringing other weapons on this loadout so... And finally pistol ammo mutation for how much you'll be spamming this. Focus School Xenoric for Energizing Dash because energy economy. Oh, and once again, I'm using Megas Anomaly because easy mode pulls things in for grouping to stack Aqua Blades. Don't be surprised if you just casually get above 100k damage built in about 30 seconds or so. You should easily be able to get past 200k damage if you keep spamming enemy pulls and kills. The more you actually use the Glaive Throw, the slower the damage will ramp, but it's really just EP flex. Anything 50k plus will already instantly shred anything you touch in one slash take on Steel Path, especially if you use Epitaph. Wanna scale it infinitely? Even easier, because of your iframes and things actually living long enough for you to build damage even faster when you pull them in during Endurance. Alright, so what about Limbo? This one is pretty easy mode also. Most of the builds for Surging Blades today will look pretty similar, but this one is even more strength. We don't need Rolling Guard because we literally never exit Rift on the setup. We don't need Range because, well, we only use this ability. Primed Flow for Endless Blade Spam. Surging Blades crosses the Rift so you can just hide permanently there and shred enemies from safety. This is also why I brought Equilibrium to help with a 45% efficiency so you can literally spam this constantly because you being in the Rift will also put your companion in the Rift. Us being in Rift means we can't prime enemies with Epitaph, but none of the weapons you bring on this build matters either. So I brought a Panzer, both to prime enemies with Viral, but also to get pet assist with the Synth set to drop health orbs, which will convert into even more energy for Limbo through Equilibrium. This is a pretty standard generic Panzer build. Normally the Martyr mods in Panzer would actually have a use, but because your cat is also in the Rift with you, it can't die, and you can't die. So neither Martyr nor Panzer will trigger. Unless you for some reason exit and get yourself or your cat killed. But yes, Viral Quills will spread even across the Rift, since it's an ability. Tech Assault would help your cat avoid lethal hits, if it got hit. And I've already explained the synth mods, the rest is just standard utility. You can literally spam the blades as much as you want on this build, and so long as you're actually aiming at enemies, you will never run out of energy. 
Combine this with the Rift Plane's passive energy gain, access to Xenerix's Energizing Dash, it's impossible to screw up. And Energize too. There aren't really any other arcanes that are useful here, so I took Nullifier. Besides that, you can go on your merry way hiding in the Rift. Megas Anomaly is here handy again, but this is probably the most chill Aqua Blade setup you can have. Nothing can touch you, except if Nullifier is pulling you out of the Rift, so just be careful for that. Our last entry today is some mag shenanigans. You saw in the previous video how Uneru's Magnetic Blast was perfect for trapping Surging Blade Glaives around the Demolist for extra hits and slash procs. That was the Culpian method so that we wouldn't have to use Helmet or resort to a frame that had bullet attractor effects. And let us take Roar for Maximum Deeps. Meg's Magnetize is basically the big boy version of that. You don't get the Maximum Deeps that Yureli or Rhino had, but you don't really need that if you're doing survival, do you? The grouping power makes it more than worth it. You may be wondering why this Meg has negative strength. Well, that's because of the re-hits. I mentioned that makes up for the lack of strength. Each re-hit is basically doubling, tripling, etc. for your damage. Strength does still affect the pull of your Magnetize though, so I did have to slot in Umbral Intensify back in again. Some duration is still very handy to keep bubbles around to protect you. And also obviously to help with the Aqua Blade ramping. Natural Talent in general is very useful on Meg since she already has slower casts. On top of cast speed significantly helping Aqua Blade DPS, so it's a very natural pick. Counterpulse ensures anything hit by your 3 when you're trying to regenerate shields during your rolling guard iframes will disarm enemies for 6.2 seconds within a 16 meter radius for a breather. It does also create armor shards for magnetize, but honestly, that's irrelevant. Brief Respite will let you max out your shields again with any ability cast except magnetize. Energize because efficiency is only neutral, and you can pair this with the same Panzer build I showed earlier. You can ramp the augment by just hovering your enemies caught by Magnetize for grouping. It's honestly pretty brain dead, similar to the other setups I showed today. But I do find Meg is probably the most satisfying of the three. You can also use the same Epitaph build from earlier too as well and shoot into the group of enemies in the bubble. And that's it, the three top setups for getting the most out of Surging Blades, besides Wisp. Really, I hope you know this works with just a generic Wisp Breach Surge build, and I don't need to show it. I promise you any of these are great fun. If this is your first time watching, feel free to leave a like, or better yet, subscribe. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. 79.5% of you are not subscribed, I'm trying my best to get you new information out always, as soon as possible. Like I've done with covering all this new war stuff and these new augments. Stick around if you want to see interesting memes and builds on a nearly daily basis. You don't want to miss out on any of that, do you? That'll be it for this video, thank you all for watching, and see you all next time.